Day four, the Thursday of Holy Week, using our household items to tell the Bible story. So we left yesterday with Jesus having been anointed and Judas having betrayed Jesus. So we find them again outside the city, possibly near the Mount of Olives, but Jesus and his followers were thinking about what they were going to do that evening because that day was the first day of the festival of unleavened bread when the Passover lamb would have been sacrificed. Jesus and his followers were all Jews and so they, they kept the Jewish festivals. Jesus said, they said to Jesus, what are we going to do about preparing for our Passover feast? And Jesus said, you'll find, go two of you, go into the city and you'll find a man carrying a, a, a jar of water, follow him, and wherever he goes, go to the house and say, the teacher asks, where is my Passover room? I thought this was a bit strange, but you know, Jesus was pretty good at being organized and had told them stuff before. So they've went into the city and they followed a man carrying a, a, a jar of water and they went to a house and they said, the teacher asks, where is my room? And they were shown into an upper room. They were shown into the upper room and there were the preparations for their Passover feast. Let's remember Jesus in his time had met lots of people, knew lots of people and had made relationships with people and people wanted to help him. People thought he was the most amazing man and they wanted to help him. So that evening Jesus and his disciples came together in the upper room for the Passover feast the Passover meal. Jesus said to them as they were all together in the room, he said, as we dip this bread and as we drink this cup, one of you is going to betray me. Now that upset them quite a lot. Oh, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be me. He said, one of you who I'm sharing this meal with will betray me. How did Jesus know this? Well, he took bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is given for you. And then he took the cup and he said, this cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood, poured out for many, for the forgiveness of sins. And he said, truly, I tell you, I will never drink of the fruit of the vine and I tr until I drink it new in the kingdom of heaven. The disciples were a little bit confused, but they shared the bread and they shared the cup together. And they knew it was a special, special time. They weren't quite understanding its significance. But Jesus was trying to tell them, as he tried a number of times before, that he was going to die, that he was going to not be with them much longer. They were very perplexed and very confused. And we hear in the Bible, it says, then they sang a hymn. Always good to know that they sang a hymn. We don't know what the hymn was, but they sang the hymn. And then they went down from the Mount, uh, they went to the Mount of Olives. And out of the upper room, they went to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said, you are all going to desert me. So he told them they were going to betray him. And now he said they're going to desert him. And they were like, no, we're not going to desert you. And then he said to Peter, he said to Peter, one of his very well-known disciples, he said, Peter, you're not only going to desert me, but before the night is over, before the day has finished, you will deny me three times. So before the cock crows twice, you will have denied me three times. Peter was gutted, absolutely gutted to think that he would let down Jesus. And he was like, no, 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 I won't betray you. I won't, I won't deny you. I won't desert you. Jesus... I just won't do that. But Jesus knew. They then went to the garden, to the garden of Gethsemane. From the Mount of Olives to the garden of Gethsemane, it's a hill quite like this. It's, it's quite a journey down. When, I went, when we went on that exact walk, my knees were absolutely killing me. So let's remember, Jesus and his friends had been into Jerusalem and out of Jerusalem to Bethany, to the Mount of Olives, down the hill, up the hill. 
They were exhausted, but they ended up in the Garden of Gethsemane and Peter and James and John were with him. The other disciples were in the garden too. And Jesus said, I'm going to go and pray. Will you keep watch with me while I go and pray? So Jesus went away and he prayed to God because he was really anxious and upset and worried about all of this. He wasn't sure what was going to happen. He knew it wasn't going to be good. He knew that, 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 that things were going to be bad from here on in. And he prayed, Lord, if it is your will, take this cup from me. Now that sounds a really weird and strange thing to say, but he said, but he was saying it because he was saying, Lord, if there's any way we can, to make your love known to the world, we cannot do this, I'm in. Let me have it. If it is your will, God, Lord, take this cup from me. And he then went back to his friends, anxious and perplexed and sad, and he found them sleeping. Remember how exhausted they were? He woke them up and he said, friends, you couldn't even do this for me. You couldn't even stay awake. And a second time he said, will you watch and will you pray? And he went away again and again the disciples fell asleep. He came back and his heart sank. They were asleep. He just felt his friends had deserted him at the time they needed them. And he woke them up and he said, my friends, the hour has come. I don't know if you remember the story of the wedding at Cana, but in the wedding at Cana, Jesus says to his mother, my hour has not come, my time has not yet come. And now he's saying to his disciples, my time has come. This is the time when what he knows is going to happen is going to happen. And at this point, we know that Judas had slipped away. And Judas returned. He returned in the garden with two soldiers. Two soldiers with swords. And Judas had told the soldiers that the one that he kissed would be the one he betrayed. And he kissed Jesus and the soldiers grabbed him. And Jesus said, you know what? You had all the opportunities in the temple to arrest me. And now you come and arrest me like a cheap criminal with swords. And they took Jesus away. And as they took Jesus away, his friends who said that they would be there for him all fled. They fled, they disappeared, they went, including Judas who had betrayed him. And Jesus was taken away by the soldiers. And they took him to the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. These people wanted to get rid of Jesus. He had said a lot of things that upset them. He had troubled things. He had made trouble in the temple. He had said things that they were really struggling to believe. And they wanted to get rid of him. So they started to make up stories about him. Oh, and people told stories that, that, that were false because they were so desperate to get rid of Jesus. They saw him as such a threat. They tried to condemn him. But the stories just seemed half-hearted. So one of them stepped up and said, Are you the Messiah? Are you the son of the blessed one? Now what that person was doing was setting Jesus up. And Jesus said, I am. And we, we need to keep those words in our, he in our heads because before we've heard the words in the Old Testament, I am who I am, when we have uh, in the desert, we have God saying, I am who I am. 
And Jesus says, I am. And then that's it. That was the final word. They told him, you have blasphemed. You have said you're the Messiah. Who are you to call yourself the Messiah? So they took him away and they started to hit him and beat him and ridicule him and treat him so badly. Remembering Jesus had done nothing to deserve this. And at this point, Peter, Peter was near the temple. He was near the temple in the outer part of the temple, remembering Jesus was inside with the chief priests. And a girl came along and a girl came along and said, do you know what? I've seen you with that man, Jesus. And he said, no, don't be so ridiculous. And then the cop went, cock a doodle do. And then she said, do you know what? I'm really convinced I've seen you with that man called Jesus. And he said, no, 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 you haven't. She really was convinced she had, but she left. And then another man came along and said, I know you, you're Galilean. You were with that man, Jesus. And Peter looked at him and he said, I can promise you, I was not with him. I don't know the man. And at that point, the cockerel crowed, cock a doodle do. And Peter realised what he'd done. And his heart broke because he'd fled, he'd betrayed and he denied his best friend. And so there we end for the Thursday of Holy Week.